Shalom, Shalom, all praises, glory, and honors to you. How about Hashem, how shy, but Hashem, Racha, Hakodash, and double honors to the apostles and to the elders of great mystery, peace, and salutations to the elect. Hey, I'm your brother Makalot. Again, you know, breaking news, maybe I'm a bit late. <laughs> yeah, but through the spirit, you know, World War Three, World War Three is on the horizon, man, and uh, it's beautiful, you know, when you can know, you know, boast in the Lord <laughs> righteously you know that um his words are coming to pass and you know they are faithful and they are true you know we have witnessed today Israel at um striking Israel you know with rockets you know more you know what, what should I say for the first time really because the last time a couple months back it they actually warned them saying that we're gonna fire that that was just um to show them that look you're you're touchable but this time you know they did some things so without any further ado let me just you know this is on jason a uh ej trump <laughs> dj trump you know is about to speak let's hear what he has to say you know this this video is uh six minutes 16 seconds I don't think I'm going to play all of it, but, you know, let's see what the spirit um, have in store for us. Eh? Former President Donald Trump today, again, referring to the conflict as a possible World War III. Short time ago, Iran launched 181 ballistic missiles at Israel, and uh, we, we it's just, it's, I've been talking about World War III for a long time, and I don't want to make predictions because the predictions always come true. We're not going to make, but because you're an insider <laughs> and yeah uh, um this 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 one this devil pierce morgan on the right um bottom of the screen did an interview with you know some men yesterday basically speaking about um hezbollah looking weak and one day after boom you know um I, oh i ran look oh you know they were saying that Iran looking weak because there was always funding Hezbollah and um, Hamas. And then and, and, and a day after, you know, they strike um, Israel. You know, but going back to what DJ Trump was saying, he's an insider. We know because we are insiders as well, but we are insiders with Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. You know? They are insiders with the devil. We are insiders with Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. And the devil is, is being controlled by Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Yes, so let me just continue. They are very close to global catastrophe. We have a non-existent president and a non-existent vice president who should be in charge, but nobody knows what's going on. In northern Israel, it was clear this attack was different. This is, uh, this is this is tough now. Right now in October, the world seems like it's falling apart. Uh, yeah, it's not just this. It's the longshoremen. It's the economy. It's the, everything's going up. Okay, and to that point, an escalation that draws the U.S. in. Might that be uh, an issue where we could see the U.S. going after Iran's nuclear program? We know that that has been a thorn uh, in uh, the Biden administration's side for some time now. Hey, one thing for sure, yeah, one thing for sure, they'll have to go um, to the aid of um, Israel, you know, because Israel is going to be um, faced with uh, a, a great backlash, and really that's going to be from Russia, man, you know, um, showing themselves strong. You know, and Russians gonna be there. <laughs> See, this is the this is the spirit of the Lord, man. This is what the Lord want to happen. You know, to fulfill His prophecies. You know, to show that look, you have touched the apple of His eyes, and He's about to destroy your asses, man. He's about to destroy your asses. I had a scripture in mind that I wanted to bring out, and the scriptures jump out my mind. But anyway, all right, let me just read this one. Uh, this is, uh, Luke chapter, oh shit, the 
Kings, Luke chapter 21, verse 34. Yeah, Luke chapter 21, verse 34. Let me start at verse 33. It says, um, Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. And take heed to yourself, lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with surfeiting and drunkenness and cares of this life, and so that they come upon you and awares. For as a snare shall it come on all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. Watch ye therefore, and pray always that he may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass, and to stand before the Son of Man. So now is the time that we should, we should be watching and praying and fasting more than ever, because here is it. We are, we are here. So with all these activities and prophecies that are now taking place, uh, uh, ultimately, the new systems of trading or transactions or whatever, um, identification, you know, these going to have to be pushed now. See, so, so this is the time that we're living in, man. You know, you have to, you have to understand the times that you're living in. It's, 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 it's nothing, it's nothing, um, so like, yeah, to be joking around about, you know, this time, this time is very serious. This is when Yahweh Basham is going to go to work <laughs> and he's, he's going to work, you know. Oh God. Okay, guys, we got to get off the roof. These are coming down right next to us here. Israel's Prime Minister Netanyahu vowing to retaliate against Iran for the attack. But, you know, Israel has not had an attack like this from Iran in its history. And the mood of defiance there you heard from Benjamin Netanyahu suggests that Israel is going to respond with force. It's another incredibly dangerous moment in a conflict now which has lasted almost exactly a year and is spreading across the Middle East. Iran says it was in retaliation for the assassinations of the leaders of Hezbollah and Hamas in recent weeks. And as Israeli air defenses were fending off the missile attack, a shooting on the ground in Tel Aviv has left eight people dead and nine people wounded. At least one shooter reportedly got off of mass transit and opened fire using a semi-automatic rifle. Hey, you see, the thing is, it, the thing is, uh, I don't even have to go any further with that, you know. But the thing is... Um, you know, Benjamin, <laughs> not a Jew, he's now calling them, uh, the people in Gaza, Amalek, which we know who the true Amalekites are. See, they, have, they, have, they are doing all these things to distract what we are saying, but what we are saying is actually coming to pass. So those that have that spiritual eyes to see, they are seeing it. And they, they are saying, look, you know, this, this, this is this is adding up to what the, the 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 brothers on the street corners are saying, you know. It's 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 making sense. Because the true Israelites aren't in the land. We where they're saying um seven million plus people Israelites in the land. You're crazy, you know. The Israel is as is as a sand of the sea which cannot be measured nor number seven million. Oh come on. Man. That's a little Benjamin there. <laughs> and maybe little Benjamin is more. <laughs> you know? Which, no. Not maybe. Little Benjamin is more. <laughs> you know? See, so, you're just, you're, just, you're just full of shit, man. And we are here to expose you through the spirit and power of your Hawa Basha, Shai, man. Right? So, this was the scripture I wanted to get. Um, Jeremiah chapter 49 Verse 20 says, Therefore hear the counsel of the Lord, Yahweh Hashem Yerushai, that he had taken against Edom, and his purposes that he had proposed against the inhabitants of Timon. Surely least of the flock shall draw them out. Surely he shall make their habitations desolate with them. Because what is happening now, see, you see that headstrong spirit that, that's on Benjamin, not a Jew, that, 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 that headstrong spirit, you know, to oh, we're gonna defend it. Israel have to defend itself. Ray, ray, ray. That's that same spirit that's gonna cause Russia to step in. You know, which gonna cause um, America to step in. And the reality is, there's no turning back. There ain't no turning back, man. This is this is war. This is this is World War Three. You understand? 
this is this is World War Three that you're you um you're witnessing right before your eyes, man. <laughs> you know, it's and it's funny. It's it's funny, you know, all this is happening and and you know for the most majority of people is like they're blind as fuck. You know, even since night I asked my my baby mother like, did you know that, um. Iran strike Israel today. And she was like, no. So you lost. Lost as fuck. You understand? Revelation 11 verse 14 says, The second war is past and behold, the third, the third war cometh quickly. Right? And the seven angels sounded and there was great voice in heaven saying, The kingdoms of this world are become the kingdom of our lords and of his anointed and he shall reign forever and ever and the four and twenty elders which sat before the Most High and their seats fell upon their faces and worshipped the Most High, saying, We give thee thanks, O Lord Almighty, which art and was and art to come, because thou hast taken to thee thy great power and has reigned. Because what, what you have to understand is that after, after, um, after all is said and done, you know, after World War III, you know, after um, the, the MOTB, you know, after the deliverance of Israel, the, that's when, the, that, well, actually, when the Israel is delivered, then we're in the kingdom. You know, that's, that's where we are now. And, and we can't, we can't, you know, we can't, what should I say, we can't cease, you know, from speaking about the kingdom because in reality, that's what we need. That's what we want. The kingdom. That's where we're going to get our rest. So we welcome. We welcome all these destruction man. You know we see where plagues. Hurricane Helen. Helen or Helen. Effed up certain parts of like North Carolina and stuff. Like you know. Those places aren't, aren't used to. Being hit by. You know. Breeze. Them strong winds man. Like. Like here in Jamaica. When, when we are heft up, we are heft up. But you have places like in Portland, we are heft up. But the, like the mountains have to crash some of the wind. And, you know, we are, well, not seen stuff lately. Because these people are, these mili these um Gen Zs and the, these new mindset people, they feel like, oh, there ain't no way I can live without the internet. Or there ain't no way I can live without electricity. Or, you know, my phone... I need to be using my phone. I need to see what's happening in the, on social media. What's the latest fashion? All that shit is about to be thrown through the window, man. This is where you prepare yourself spiritually for what's to come. This is the time for it, man. See, I just wanted to, you know, say a, a little thing on it, man. Like, you know, it's it's very it's, it's oh, let me just get that scripture, man. See, it's, it's very amazing to see all the things that, that are happening, you know, and Jake in taking, take, Jake even know, know what's going on. Jake ain't even knowing what's going on, man. Right? Alright, so this is. Luke 17 verse 20 um, 6 it says and as it was in the days of Noah so shall it be also in the days of the son of man they did eat they drank they married wives uh, they were given in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark and the flood came and destroyed them all Likewise also, it was in the days of Lot. They did eat, they drank, they bought, they sold, they planted, they built. But the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. Even thus shall it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. So, so you know, shit's about to get worse, man. But the, but the, but the men... You know, the ones of us that are in the spirit of Noah and Lot, you know, that, that was about to do in our Lord's will, 
this day won't catch us as a thief in the night, man. Because we're, our eyes are open to what's happening. And it's very beautiful. And if and if what you said, what you saw today, um, does uplift your spirit, then that means you're not in the right spirit. See, all them racket dropping on Israel, we know that, you know, the Lord control all things. We're not saying, oh, yes, World War Three is going to kick off in high gear right now. That's not, that's not what we're saying. But that's beautiful because Iran has been, you know, the Carmenian, you know, they have been sleeping for a while. Man. No, they have been awoken, just like how Russia have been awoken. It was at 2022. The beer was awoken in Ukraine and they were making crazy moves, man. See, so shit, shit, you know, the gears of war is just, just going. Shit is real. And shit is about to eat the fan. So you, you want to stay in the spirit that when all these things started starting to happen, you know, you're found worthy to escape just as our forefather Noah and just as our forefather Lot. Should the spirit and power of your I hope that this lesson has been an edifying one. Until the next shot.